glad that you can tune in today. I'm looking at this fabulous book that goes along with a special holiday that we're celebrating today. What is today? What did you do today? Did you do anything special for someone to show that you love them? Well, my book is called Pete the Cat, Valentine's Day is Cool, and it's by Kimberly and James Dean. There's so many different ideas in this book about how you could have showed that you love someone, but rest assured, if you didn't get a chance to do it today, you can still give people a token of appreciation to let them know that you love and adore them. So, without further ado, let's jump in. This is a very special book. Uh, if you would like to purchase this book, I actually purchased it on Amazon. There is a cool poster, and there's also some cool stickers, and there are also some uh, Valentine's Day cards that you can share with someone. Well, without further ado, let's read our story. It was a day before Valentine's Day and Pete was riding his skateboard home when he saw his friend Callie. She was holding a big red heart that said love, L-O-V-E. Who do you love? You love your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, or your aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, or friends? It's good to be loved and to show someone that you love them. Have you finished your Valentine's Day card, asked Callie. No. Valentine's Day is not cool, said Pete. Oh, Pete, Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. It's a day to tell people how special they are to you, Callie insisted. Pete skated on but something in the back of his mind told him that Callie might be right. By the time Pete got home, he decided that Callie was right about Valentine's Day. So he got his pencil, his paper, his crayons, and his marker, and he sat down at the kitchen table. First, Pete started to work on the card for his friend, Larry. Pete made several cards with big red hearts, but he was not happy with his work. I wonder why he wasn't happy with his work. I wonder how he can improve. Let's take a look. Pete wanted to make the perfect cards for every cat in his, in his class. I'll never get all of the cards done in time, Pete told his mom. Pete's mom smiled. Just do your best, she said. Just tell Larry why he's cool. That is something cool. There is something cool about every cat. Pete got back to work. He thought hard about what was cool about Larry. To Larry. Happy Valentine's Day from Pete. Perfect, said Pete. Can you make a perfect card like that? Tell somebody why you love them or why they're cool. After that, it didn't take Pete long to make cards for all the boys. To Josh, to Trey, to Rob, to John. Here's the cool cards I was telling you about. Take a look. You can actually rip them out and give them to your friends. There's not one, but two pages full of cards. Let's count how many is on this page. You can help me. One, two, three, four, five. Comes after five. Did you say six? Ah, oh, you are absolutely correct. Six. Let's see what happens in the story. Then Pete made special cards for all the girls and wrote, love Pete on each one. And of course he made the biggest heart shaped card for his mom. I think she's really gonna appreciate that. 
the next day Pete and Callie waited for the bus together, I decided that you were right. Valentine's Day is cool. That's awesome, said Callie. By the way, I'm having a Valentine's Day party at my house after school if you want to come. The bus pulled up then and Pete and Callie got on. Mr. Ted, the bus driver smiled and said, good morning. But as soon as they were in their seats, Pete put his hands in his paws. Why do you think Pete seems to be disturbed? He seems like he has something on his, on his mind. What's wrong? Asked Callie. I forgot to make Mr. Ted's card, he cried. Then Pete thought, but I can make him an awesome card before we get to school. Pete pulled out his piece of paper and colored pencils from his backpack. He began to draw, Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for picking us up every day for school. Pete and Callie said as they handed Mr. Ted his Valentine. Thank you, Mr. Ted told them. You just made my day. <laughs> Looks like he really appreciated that card from them. What about Mrs. Gold, the crossing guard? We need to make her a Valentine's Day too. Pete practically shouted. Let's do it. Callie said, let's make Valentine's for everyone. Do you have enough paper to make Valentine's for everyone? <laughs> I hope you do. Pete and Callie got super busy making cards for everyone. Looks like they made it for a crossing guard. They made it for a firefighter. <gasps> and another one here for a police officer. I think they'll truly appreciate a card from them also. After school, Pete went to Callie's party. He rang the bell and then he froze. <sighs> Why do you think he froze? Callie opened the door only to find her friend in a panic. I wonder why Pete is in a panic. What seems to be the problem now? How's he gonna solve it? What's wrong, Pete? I forgot something very special, Pete admitted. What? Callie asked. I just realized that I forgot to make a card for you, Pete said. That's okay, Pete. Cards are just a way of showing that you care. Hanging out with you, that's better than any card. This is the best Valentine's Day ever. I really like the way that Callie thought that a token of appreciation um, through a card or flowers or candy was very good, but there's so many different ways that you could show someone that you love them. And every day you should work towards showing someone that you care and showing someone that you love them. The end, and it says, and happy Valentine's Day to you. Love, Pete. The end, and when the story's over, and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make for ten. Bomb, bomb, bubbly, bop. And when the story's over, and when we reach the end, if you think you like this story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. Again, I want to wish you a very happy Valentine's Day, and I hope that you continue to show people that you love and you care for them, not just on one day, but every day of the year, because as you've seen, people will truly appreciate it and in return they will show you the same love and respect. Miss Glam loves you and I thank you for tuning in and I will see you in our next video. Salam!